everyone is very um, concerned about the possibility of you know um, Stokes becoming a captain. I, I don't necessarily think it would be as bad as people think. Um, I think it might be a bit like Mourinho at Tottenham, and that you'd get very used to it after a week. You know, everyone <laughs> everyone thought it was a ridiculous idea when he held up the shirt, and then all of a sudden it's pretty standard, isn't it? Um, but you know, I it, why do they get so upset about this? It's football, <laughs> you know. People, managers, players, everybody moves. Yeah. And there is no such thing, you know, that badge kissing thing. Don't be suckered by it, folks. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not real. Um, <laughs> one, it, it's not real. If there's one thing we know with Mourinho is that it will end in a, a firestorm at some point. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the game, and the game is all the better for it. Is it? <laughs> yeah. The, the, I mean, the other thing about Rio, I suppose, is that, you know, it, it, we could see this coming miles off. Uh, do you remember back when he captained Yorkshire in that game at Lords and everyone called him the captain and it was all a bit of a laugh and all you know everyone <laughs> took it quite lightly and said, oh he'll be England captain and I'll be great at it and you know same with Cook he didn't have much captaincy experience but everyone said oh he's asked Cook he'll be fine he'll find a way and you know this is what happens when and I suppose it happens in most countries where you know people get thrust into test captaincy without actually having done it because I, but that's not what bothers me about the idea of Stokes I don't, I'm not bothered he's not he's not been a captain before that wouldn't be the argument that I would put against him doing it for sure because I agree with you it's kind of uh, most of the time international captains are, are learn on the hoof anyway yeah. um, you pick an 11 you know, the old Australian maxim you pick an 11 and you make a captain out of it yeah. mm. um, I, I don't have so that wouldn't be the argument the argument would be simply that camp could we afford for him to go massively off yeah. the boil because listen there, there's a hell of a lot to it a hell of a lot to, to sort of having to be responsible for um, and it's not just the other 10 players, it's responsible for an, a whole raft of things that people don't see, as well as being, the, you know, the, the most important player that we have. And he is the most important player that we have. Flintoff was the most important player we had. Do you think and everyone said, don't make him captain, <laughs> don't make him captain. And he, you turn, turned him into a, sort of a, to a lunatic on that trip. Do you who think? couldn't battle bowl, you know, it's kind of like it's surprising that we lost 5-0. Do we, do we give people... <laughs> Matt probably doesn't remember that one either. <laughs> do we give people too much, you know, is the sort of off-field nature of being England captain in the sort of statesman-like position, is that over the top? Is that unnecessary? No, no do I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think people have any idea just how, how, how much more to it there is. But, uh, I would say, you, it's, I'd say it's underplayed. But does that need, as in, does it need to be a thing in the way that it is? Could you feasibly have... Um, in England, a, a, a situation where England literally just picked their squad for a tour and then two days out from the match, yeah. or three, well, it, three it would, days out from the match, said, right, Broad's captain for this one. It would, yeah. it would require a, a culture the change, the like of which... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. Really different. But, but I, you know, again, I think that the kudos of of the role and also the, the importance of, of being that figurehead, I don't think you're ever going to get to the point where that's downplayed at all. Mm. I mean, look, they try their very best anyway you know in comparison to what Mike Brearley had in terms of his but you remember him um <laughs> the, the, of his backroom staff um there wasn't any they had they had none the captain kind of did did everything um the senior players took care of it all in terms of the, the the layers of um of extra management that are there to kind of to try and facilitate all of these things it's like it, it's like it's never been however there is still there is still more responsibility than any one man should have to take on on his shoulders um, being cap being England captain, being captain of any test team for that matter. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.